Hallelujah. Welcome to Bible study. You know, we believe in the Word of God. We believe the Word of God is true. We believe that the Word of God is our source of life. We're supposed to live by it. We're supposed to understand from the worlds how the realms of this world have been made, how everything around has been created, because we learn of it through the Word of God. Let's pray. Let's believe God. Father, we thank you for your grace, your goodness. Thank you for this opportunity to learn of you, to teach of you, Lord Father, to learn that we can come to this place where we can know from what you are speaking to us. You are faithful to your word. We trust you, Lord Father. Thank you for giving a hearing ear and an open heart to receive from you, Father. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So if you've been here with us last week, we were talking about uh, the men's kind of knowledge. And, and we talked about the source of the whole idea of men's knowledge comes from these physical senses. And the physical senses are, are being driven by our central nervous system, what we say. You know, everything our mind tells, our, our brain tells us, that's what we believe, you know. But now I want you to get to this place where you know where we understand. Now we're going into places where we say, you know what, we, we talked about the limitations because the physical senses can only perceive the five things. Touch, say, sight, uh, hearing, uh, smell, and taste. That's the only thing it can absorb knowledge from. Okay, all of its knowledge comes from this. So now these these days, other things, you know, we've got a mind, a mind that a will and an emotion. So our emotions are perceiving, being able to tell us because we, as a man, we've been created. You know, God created animals. And God created men. He didn't create a link between them. In, in many ways, people will say, oh, we, we, we evolved from them. But, but there, is no, there is no comparison between men and the animals, okay? So why do men say that? Because they are so consumed by their sense knowledge. The sense knowledge continues to identify things that are similar. But they cannot come to the rational thinking to the place of where saying this, this much is different. The difference is far greater and outweighing compared to the similarities. And why is that? Because God created different kinds of beasts and, and all of them were created by their own kind. And now he has given men and out of him only man comes. That's all that comes and that's always going to come. And, and we have been created in this manner. That's what it is. So what the animal, what, what I call the animal kingdom, what I say is that the, the animal kingdom has a way of operating, you know. It knows to feed, it knows to survive, uh, it knows when to go, uh, when to give warmth to its uh, cubs or, or the babies and, and all these things. It knows to do that. But all of this is thriving on this one knowledge is that it needs to survive. With man, surviving is just not enough. We were not created for surviving. We're not created just to survive. It is impossible for man to satisfy himself to the point of surviving. In reality, many would say, you know what, if I have to just survive, I'd rather not be. It is a very big reality in life. You can ask so many questions, people will say this. You know, it is not sufficient for men to satisfy his life by just surviving. It is impossible. There is a hunger within man that allows and shades it. You know what? It, the man needs to have a rational thinking. Man needs to have a thinking. Man needs to be able to question things. Man needs to be able to come to this place to have this relationship with God. There is an actual hunger for God himself, you know. And this is where it draws the line because animals will never hunger for God. They are incapable for hungering for God. They are always looking for an authority figure and that's what they all look for because the whole system was created for men to have authority and rule and reign over. And that's all what the animal kingdom will look for. It will never look for God. Okay? It will never look for its creator. It has no rational thinking to look for its creator. It has only the ability to adapt, only the ability to survive, ability to change to the point where it knows how to go out and do other things enabled, enabled to continue to live. Because God created continuity. God created the elements to able to go out and do these things. Okay. So, but when it comes to man, man needs to have more than that. Man, man is made in an image of God. That's why he needs to be able to question. He needs to be able to create what we really say. Man's whole perception of life has to come to the point where it reflects the same type as his creator. And the creator being always creates. The creator creates places families, bonds, relationships, and that's what thrives a human being. 
okay it is not based on on, on things of of what just going alone no 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 there is so much so much joy in human connections there is so much joy in relationship that is why there is so much joy with the relationship with god many people can't understand and perceive it but yet you know why because we have been created in the image of god we will crave and continue to hunger for god okay so all these things come to this place you know what i'm saying you know uh, all these things have come to the place and now uh, 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 you know you, we can go out there is a what we call this the greatest hunger of of man has always been to find the creator it has always been the greatest question that anyone could solve was where is the creator who is the creator and they will go out and flush and say that is why religion thrives is because religion will keep giving solutions that may not even exist but yet as long as they say sound good they may look like it and they can provide a solution so as long as religion is able to provide a solution that there is a god man is satisfied that's why religion works and that's why the devil knows to keep on keep on pushing out religious ideas keep on putting in religion because it satisfies this hunger that there is a god and yet there is still a very craving in the hearts of men for a relationship with god which religion even cannot satisfy even though you keep on going in that cycle over and over and over yet religion cannot satisfy and there is why there is this hunger for god in men that's why we will always start to question you know there is always this need for questioning and people will continue and those people who start questioning all the things in point of that to the creator will are, are certain to find him because they will always lead them to the place of the creator okay so the greatest thirst and the hunger for man is to find god okay so in, in reality what happened is that men in first even science itself you know uh, all the time you know for many many years uh, science was adamant to the physical senses it was not changing its position on this but yet the more they are studying the more they are finding it is it is opening their eyes because the questions are coming to the place you know what it is impossible for this universe to exist without the presence of god they are coming to this knowledge that you know what there is so much intricate design there is so much things that are working in place there are so much mechanical ways that are working or on an autonomous manner that it is impossible for this universe to exist without a god their science itself is questioning the old things that they have learned because they are understanding itself that you know what the universe is so vast and great there is so big that you know what we need a creator we need a creator god it just shows and reveals and that's what the knowledge is the physical senses can lead you to a point where it will question itself but it can never it can show you your need for a creator physical senses will show you you know what there has to be a form of creation everything tells me there is one but it will never lead you to the point where you will find your creator through your physical senses because it is impossible for men to understand a dead man cannot perceive the goodness of god uh, 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 the re- re- the relationship with god it is impossible for them to understand the ways of the spirit are impossible for others to understand you know a dead man cannot understand the things of the someone is being alive okay so and this is, has been problem this is a problem that they are facing and they are questioning over and over and over and over and what we come to the point is that that they, they 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 are acknowledging now they are acknowledging the fact that there is an intelligent creator it has to be and their problem arises now this is where the problem arises now is that how do we connect with this intelligent creator just through our physical senses and that is the truth that it cannot be so the real man is a spirit and god created him in his image as a spirit so it is impossible for the physical senses to determine the physical senses that were only created for men to survive on this world they were only created for the purpose of of making them understand and experience this world cannot perceive god cannot perceive the god that we talk about as a spirit man it is not possible and that is why you know a lot of people try to connect and contact 
you know what they do they do all these uh, things you know they try to find out uh, physical ways you know we will we, we'll fast and we will we'll, we'll somehow get to god uh we'll do this and we'll somehow get to god uh we'll go out and you know we'll we, we'll go out and do this dark magic and things like that dark arts and all those things. all those things we'll try and do so that we can get to god everything is craving for a knowledge of god through the physical senses and yet the limitation of the physical senses it can realize make you realize that you need there is a creator and an intelligent being but it cannot connect you or give you a revelation of who he is that can only come through your spirit the physical realm has not been given the purpose to reveal god to men the physical realm has been given the physical senses have been given the purpose to show the creation of god it is to show the creation of god that this is a god that is has to exist that there has to be a god that there has to be someone who created all this there has to be someone who who is more than able to show up and be this person and yet what we do is that we continue to try and continue to try and expand this physical knowledge even though we know it is limited we try and continue to expand this physical knowledge to the point that we think that somehow or the other somehow i'll just see god somehow i'll just hear god with my physical senses somehow i i i'll i'll know and touch god with my physical senses somehow i will taste god with my with with my taste somehow i'll just smell the presence of god see all these things we are trying to achieve even church does this you know I, I, i'm not putting them aside even church you know we we say this you know when you experience oh you know the physical presence of god we somehow want to experience the physical presence of god and yet the word of god continues to declare only dead men see god that means those who are not used to to their flesh not used to to this physical sense not bound by this physical sense only those people can actually have a sense of god that means only your spirit has been given the ability to understand god and that is why we come to this place where we have to have this understanding that without the bible without this word that is spirit and you understand this this word is not knowledge of the physical senses these no these words that are written on this book are not words of physical senses they are of the spirit and because they are breathed by the spirit of god they are alive they they are life itself and they are what we call revelation knowledge this book has the ability to teach you about god this book has the ability to connect you to god because it is filled with words are not just words but they are filled with words of the spirit of god they are words of god himself they are the words of the spirit and that is the knowledge that will able to understand you you know no you know i put it this way you know a god knows and understand that everyone he has created he put in them this hunger he knew that they would always need that they will have to come to this place where they will need to need to understand that they need a creator they would have this this hunger for god himself they would have these things and that is why he created all these things so beautiful around us you know all of these things of intricate design you know god could have said you know like let's put no design thought into it let's just put it here but that would not define a god that would not define a creator and all of these things around us reveal there is a creator I hope you're really learning something here, you know. You know, uh, there's so much more that we want to share. There's so much more that 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 uh we want to go into. And next time we, I want to take you in this journey where we understand the Bible. We understand this revelation knowledge. We understand, you know what? The revelation knowledge of God, we understand it. We don't just put it on the side, but we start to live by it. That we take it as our very own and know that you know what? This is the life of God. This is what's going to connect me to God. This is what the knowledge that I'm actually seeking so much to understand God. This is where I'm going to connect and not through my physical senses not through but just 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 seeing something you know no 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 i'm going to be able to have an understanding and a perception of the spirit of god of who he is what he is doing where he is right now through the word of god
Let's pray. Let's believe God. Father, we thank you for your grace, your goodness. Thank you that you are faithful to your word. Thank you that you are for us, O oh Lord, in every way. That you are faithful to bringing up what you need to bring up. And thank you, Lord Father, for teaching us in through your word, Lord Father. Father, let us not just put this aside as some other knowledge, but we start understanding, you know what? There is a difference to where you live. You know, I can start, I can start living away from my physical senses and start living by the revelation knowledge of God because there is truth in the revelation knowledge of God. There is truth in the Spirit of God. There is truth in the Bible. There is truth in the Word of God because you have created it to connect us to the place that you want us to see things, Lord Father. Yes, Lord Father, our physical senses see things. Our physical senses can understand things in different ways. But yet, there is a spirit realm that exists that is far greater than this physical realm. And in order to understand and be part of that, we need a revelation knowledge from you. We need to be able to understand and perceive the spirit realm that has been holding this physical world up. To see the understand the things that the spirit realm is able to bring forth into this physical realm. All those things, to be able to understand those things. And we happen to do that by your word. Your Bible, Lord Father. Father, Thank you for your word. Father, may we understand you much more and believe from you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. I hope you really hear, learned here something tonight. Until next time, remember that Jesus Christ is Lord. Bye-bye. Learn more from God's word and send us your prayer request by visiting our website, www.jcln.org. Or you can like our Facebook page, Jesus Christ is Lord Ministries to keep up with the now word of the Lord for the season. Follow us on Instagram, JCLMPG. Better still, subscribe to our YouTube channel, JCLMPG, to receive the latest teaching of God from the ministry.